We said this year is our year of expansion. Tulisema mwaka huu ni mwaka wetu wa kupanuliwa. And uh, I, I hope you you believe that. Na najua ama naamini ya kwamba unaamini hiyo. Because it's out of believing is not out of uh, what you observe. Maana ni kwa sababu ya imani na sio kwa mambo ambayo unaona ama kuangalia. Yeah, we we have come from far anyway tumetoka mbali hata hivyo and we are still going far na bado tunaenda mbali ama you think we are we have come from very far tumetoka mbali ndio we have come from very far jo tumetoka mbali sana you know the beginnings were very hard for us mwanzo ulikuwa ni mgumu sana kwetu until we can settle but we don't want to settle na, <laughs> so now we have a house we have a church Now we should not settle. Tuko na kanisa sasa, tuko na avyo na hali hatuwezi. Na hiyo safari ni safari. But now we need now to go to the field. Na hata bado tunahitaji kuingia viwanjani. Thank God for everything that is happening. Na tunashukuru Mungu kwa kila kitu ambacho kinafanyika. Even ministry for the children is a ministry for the church. Na hata huduma kwa ajili ya watoto ni huduma kwa kanisa. And you believe that uh, we can believe that uh, this is a great work. Na unaweza amini pamoja nasi ya kwamba hii ni kazi kuu. And uh, we know we are raising a generation. Na tunaamini ya kwamba tunalea kisasi. I want to go back to some some ones I have spoken sometimes. Ah uh, nahitaji kurudilia neno ambalo nilisema wakati ambao ulipita. And uh, I'll take some times to speak to you some some qualities of some people. Na ninahitaji kuchukua muda na ili niseme kuhusu uh, viwango vya watu fulani. Sometimes we can preach uh, the Bible uh, through what we call topical lessons we can have topical uh, i mean uh, uh, lessons na wakati mwingine tunaweza sema kuhusu biblia ama kuhusu mafunzo and then we can have uh, a book we take a book and then we do and what we call exegesis na ama tunaweza chukua kitabu na tufanye vile and uh, sometimes i i do both na wakati mwingine yeye anafanya yote mawili. I can take a book like the book of Nehemiah and we can study about it. Anaweza chukua kitabu cha Nehemia, alafu wanalisoma na kulielewa. And then we are able to get the message in the books. Na anaweza kusipata ule ujumbe kwenye vitabu. And sometimes I took that time na wakati mwingine anachukua huo muda na akatukaweza kulisoma ama kulidadisi kitabu cha Nehemiah na pia tukaendelea na kitabu cha Yoshua and uh, this year we'll see how we go about that na mwaka huu tutaona jinsi pia ya kuendelea na vile i took some time to teach you a bit on about the vision nikachukua muda pia kuwafunza kuhusu maono yeah and uh, at the beginning of this year i remember there are some of us who are able to write a clear vision na mwanzo wa mwaka huu ninaamini ya kwamba kuna wengine ambao waliandika yeah. maono mazuri na masafi i remember joe you told me you stayed here for one week na, writing your vision and thinking about it mzee alikuwa hapa wiki mzima kufanya maono na kufikiria pia about your vision kufikiria kuhusu maono yake writing about it na kuandika na kunakiri kuhusu yake yeah because we are a product of our visions maana sisi ni matokeo ya maono yetu ama mm-hmm. can i say it again we are what a product of our visions. Ya kwamba sisi ni matokeo ya maono yetu. And that's the reason why some people are behind. Na hiyo ndiyo maana watu wengine wako nyuma. And some of us they are they are very far. Na wengine wetu wako mbele. That disparity at times is a product of vision. Na hiyo ni kusema ya kwamba mtu ni matokeo ya maono. Yeah, even small boys and girls, some of them they have vision, others they don't have vision. Hata vijana wengine wadogo, wengine wana maono na wengine hawana. That's why you see some of them they sleep very very late studying. Mwingine yeah, even some put their their feet uh, uh, in the water. 
so that they can wa, remain a rat wengine unapata ya kwamba wanalala mapema na wengine wamechelewa sana hata kiwango cha kuweka miguu kwenye maji na ili yeah, wasilale they, want, they have a focus they have a, a vision maana wako na mtazamo na maono they, they want to change a generation wanahitaji kubadilisha visasi change a family wanataka kubadilisha jamii oh yes mm. they are young but visionary wako ni wadogo lakini wana maono oh yes ndio that's how it is na hivyo ndivyo ile that's why we took some times na hivyo ndio maana tukachukua muda i don't know i don't know what is your you wrote i don't know what you are thinking about this year sijui wewe uliandika kama unafikiria nini i don't know what is eating you this year sijui ni nini kinakuchukua mwaka huu the obsession in your mind of this year sijui ni nini kimebeba mawazo yako mwaka huu yes the obsession kinachobeba mawazo yeah, because it must carry your brain mm. it is ca- must carry your heart ni lazima kichukue moyo na mawazo yako oh yes ndio hallelujah hallelujah it must carry you ni lazima kikubebe oh yes mm. that you are going somewhere ya kwamba kuna mahali unapoelekea that's why you must be serious with it ni lazima uwe makini nayo ama true na sasa sasa Amen. Fanya namna hii. Hallelujah. Amen. You must see that. That's why we took some times. Ndio maana tunahitaji kuchukua muda na wakati. We wrote it down. Tunaandika na kuna kiu. And then we took some times here. Na hiyo basi tunachukua muda tena hapa. And we brought it before God. Na tukaileta mbele za Bwana. And we lifted it up before God. Na tukainulia mbele za Mungu. And we said God is our vision. Na tukasema Bwana haya ni maono yetu. We prayed, we were prayed by na, some people. Na hata ba bado tukaombewa na watu wengine and see we are praying about it na bado tunaomba kwa ajili yake hallelujah hallelujah if you never took some times haikuchukua muda if you never took some times ainge usingelichukua muda i'm saying if you never took some time kama haungechukua muda au kuchukua muda if you never took some time ikiwa haukuchukua muda to write your vision kuandika maono yako you need to write it au kuandika you need to write it ni lazima uandike it is too early you can see you write it ni mapema bado unaweza kuandika and then you can live, lift it before god na bado unaweza kuinua mbele za mungu hallelujah hallelujah sometimes I thought about David. Wakati mwingine mchungaji alisema kuhusu Daudi. And even you can visit our message in our YouTube. Ah uh, unaweza kupitia na kuya uh, endea tena mafundisho yetu kwenye YouTube. And I I taught you about how to deal with giants. Na mchungaji alikuwa anatufunza jinsi ya kukabiliana na majitu. But today I want to revisit. Na leo anaweza kurejelea some of the the great men of david moja yao ya wale wakuu ama watu wakuu wa daudi and many times when i read about this man na wakati mwingi anaposema kuhusu wanaume hawa they always challenge me ah uh, wanamtia changamoto oh yes ndio these men who were with david hawa watu ambao walikuwa na daudi and i ask myself na anajiuliza do i have some people who i can make and mold and become mighty men like the men of david kweli ama hakika anao watu ambao ni wa nye nguvu ambaye anaweza kuwatayarisha kuwafanya vile serve the members of the congregation the question that comes in my mind wakati mwingine akiangalia au waumini ama members anaangalia kuna maswali anamkujia do i have the right people who can help me in this great vision kuna watu ambao wanafana ili wanisaidie katika uh, maono makubwa haya do i have fighters in the midst of the church kuna wapiganaji au watu wa vita katika kanisa oh yes mm. i ask myself anajiuliza maswali because We must have mighty men. Maana ni lazima chuwe na watu ambao ni wakuu wenye nguvu. And when you have mighty men walking with you. Na ukiwa na watu wakuu wenye nguvu wakitembea nawe. Then you feel safe. Basi unahisi ya kwamba uko sawa. But when you have, we have weaklings walking with you. Na you feel we feel like you are vulnerable. Ila ukiwa na watu wadhaifu ama ni wanyonge unahisi ya kwamba hauna hauko sawa. But I get encouraged. Lakini anakuwa na nguvu. Because 
Jesus took some weaklings. Ah, ya kwamba mambo ambayo yamekuwa. Jesus took some weaklings. Ya kwamba Yesu alikuwa na watu wanyonge. But he made them. Lakini akawafanya. He taught them. Akawafunza. He took them through training. Akawapeleka kwa mafundisho. And finally he had the 12 disciples. Na baadaye akakuwa na wale 12 wanafunzi. And then they became man, men who changed the world. Na wakaweza kuwa watu wa kubadilisha ulimwengu wote. Who changed the world? Walikuwa ni watu wa kubadilisha ulimwengu. They were able to the world upside down. Waliweza kubadilisha ulimwengu chini na juu. And I desire. Na anatamania that if we can have this mighty man. Tukaweza kuwa nao watu wenye nguvu. Even mighty women. Na hata pia wanawake ambao ni wenye nguvu. Hallelujah. Mighty women. Watu ambao ni wanawake wenye nguvu. Women of Jerusalem. Ambao ni wale wa Yerusalemu. You know even sometimes Isaiah, Jeremiah 9. Jeremiah said, "Where are the mighty women of Jerusalem?" Jeremiah 9 inasema, "Wako wapi wanawake wa Yerusalemu wenye nguvu?" Those women who could cry and intercede. Na wale ambao walikuwa wanalia na kuwa women who could teach their children their daughters wale ambao walikuwa wanawafundisha watoto na daughters how to cry na wanawafundisha jinsi ya kuulia where are these women hawa wanawake wako wapi Jeremiah could ask where are these women Jeremiah alikuwa anauliza wako wapi hawa wanawake these are great women hawa ni wanawake wa kweli women who could bring revival ni hawa ambao walileta ufifio because if you read the book of Jeremiah maana ukisoma kitabu cha Jeremiah even a chapter 4 or 5 as you continue up to chapter 9 mlango wa 4 pale 5 na hata 9 you hear jeremiah saying i can hear au nasikia jeremiah i can hear the sound of the enemy naweza sikia sauti i can hear it from afar naweza sikia kwa umbali i can feel here the, the the sound of the hoofs of horses ninasikia sauti ya farasi i can hear it from a distance ninaisikia kwa kutoka mbali this are our enemies na hawa ni maadui zetu coming for Jerusalem wanakuja kwa ajili ya Yerusalemu but you are saying lakini alisema but Jerusalem lakini Yerusalemu they are careless kuna they are careless kwamba hawako makini they, they can't hear the voice hawawezi they can hear the sound hawawezi sikia sauti chapter 9 he says where are the women of Jerusalem na tisa yasema wako wapi wanawake wa Yerusalemu women who could teach their daughters wale how to cry walifundisha wanawali wao kuomba he was saying alikuwa akisema where are these women wako wapi wanawake who hapa are these sentiments ambao wako na hali ya kutiwa sensitivity ambao where are these women hawa wanawake wako wapi who understand the times ambao wanaelewa where are they wako wapi hapa where are they wako wapi and we can ask ourselves But where are the men also tunaweza jiuliza wale wa ngao where are the young people na hawa watu wadogo wako wapi vijana when the bible says these young people maandiko yanasema hawa vijana the word of god dwells in them ya kwamba maandiko ya mungu yanaishi the world na aweza kushinda ulimwengu the bible says so where are these young people maandiko yanauliza hawa watu wako wapi the word of god dwells in them ya kwamba neno la mungu laishi ndani yao they have overcome from the world where are they na ya kwamba wanaushinda ulimwengu wako wapi where are they hawa wanaume wako wapi jamii they can see visions and they can dream dreams wanaweza ona maoni na watendo hallelujah hallelujah where are they wako wapi this is the question where are they hili ndilo swali wako wapi And so David, na hivyo basi Daudi, he was joined with weaklings. Alikuwa na wale wadhaifu na wanyonge. And chapter number 1 of Samuel 1 Samuel chapter 22. Mlango wa Samueli wa kwanza mlango wa 22. Weaklings. Akakutana na watu wadhaifu. If we can go back there. Ukirejelea pale. First Samuel chapter number 22. Ah Samueli wa kwanza 22. If we go that back there. Ah, ikiwa tutarejelea pale. You can see what the Bible says. Unaweza kupata maandiko yanasema nini? That uh, David therefore departed from there and escaped to the cave of Adram. So when his brothers and all his father's house heard it, they went down there to him and everyone who was in distress, everyone who was in debt and everyone who was discontented gathered aloud gathered to him 
Verse number two, and everyone who was in distress, everyone who was in debt, and everyone who was um, uh, who, uh, yeah, discontented. And the Bible used three words here. The Bible uses three words here. It uses the word distress. It uses the word debt. And it uses the word discontented. You know, the Bible is very deliberate. Amen. The Bible is very deliberate. And that's why I'm happy. And that's why I guess she was speaking about... Uh, uh, the names of God. That is what I was thinking this morning. And I took some time to remind myself. I don't know why you are thinking about that. But I thought you are in the same spirit. I took some time to think about Jehovah Rehoboth. Jehovah Rehoboth. Jehovah Rehoboth. Oh yes. Mm. The, that commander. Huyo commander ama that, that powerful God. Huyo mungu mku. The God of the hosts. Huyo mungu awaku. I thought about that. And the whole story of David. Na hiyo hadithi nzima ya the spirit of God Rehoboth. Ni roho ya mungu Rehoboth. Oh yes. Amen. And sometimes we 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 don't understand that. Na wakati mwingine hatuelewi haya. But I, I understand that. Lakini anaelewa hivyo. You know, Rehoboam. Ah, that spirit. Roho, the Lord is saying. It is not by your power. Sio kwa ajili ya nguvu zako. No, it is not your understanding. Sio kwa ajili ya kuelewa sana. Your knowledge. Sio kwa ajili ya kujua sana. It is not your name. Sio kwa ajili ya jina lako. It is not who you are. Sio kwa ajili ya jina lako. The spirit of Rehoboam. Roho ya Rehoboam. It says it is God. Ni Mungu. Oh yes, it Man. is God. Yeah, ni Mungu. He enables you to fight. Anakuwezesha kupigana. He armors your hands for war. Anachukua mikono ya vita. Oh yes. Mm. You are coming to me. Unanikujia. With a sword. Na upanga ni Jeffrey. Na kile sawa. Goriath, you are coming to me. Daudi akamwambia bila kujia na upanga. And with a Jeffrey. Na ile silaha. But I come to you. In the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. The God of the hosts. I come to you. That's the spirit of Rehoboam. I was reminding you of David. Nilikuwa nawakumbusha kuhusu Daudi. Here in the wilderness. Hapa kwenye jangwa. In the cave of Adram. Katika hiyo Cave, I'm a some men, some men gathered around him. Ah, wale watu wakamzingira. Men who are in distress. Watu ambao walikuwa kwenye shida. Men who are in debt. Watu ambao walikuwa na 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 madeni. And men who are discontented. Na watu ambao walikuwa hawakuwa wa metoshereka. The Bible says they gathered. Wakajikusanya around him. Wakajikusanya kwake. Or they gathered to him. Na wakajikusanya kwake. So he became their captain. Na akaweza kuwa kiongozi wao. And there were about 400 men with him. Na walikuwa ni watu 400 pamoja na. I think about that. Nikafikiria hai. When I think about that, I do a parallel. Nikaweza kufanya I do a parallel. Let me speak in a, in a words that you can understand. When I think about this. No, when I think about this. I do a parallel of first Samuel chapter number 22. Then I do a parallel with second Samuel chapter number 23 from verse 8. 
anafanya kulinganisha uh, zile uh, vifungo vya Samueli zile I want you to write that then you go and read there Uende usome unakiri usome First Samuel chapter 22 and then go and read for second Samuel chapter 23 from verse 8 Samueli wa kwanza 22 na Samueli wa pili pia I I always read and I always wonder Na wakati kila wakati anasoma na anashangaa because First Samuel chapter 22 Hii Samueli wa kwanza 22 It is talking about David in in the in the valley Anasema kuhusu Daudi akiwa kwenye milima ile He is in a cave Alikuwa kwenye uh, vibango ama vibango He is running away Na alikuwa anamtoroka from Saul Kumtoroka Saul He is in the wilderness Alikuwa kwenye jangwa Hallelujah mm. And in the wilderness Na kwenye jangwa he meets with these people Anakutana na hao watu and they are coming to join with him Na wanakuja waungane na yeye What do you think about that Unafikiria nini kuhusu People are coming in the wilderness Hao watu wanaenda jangwani jamii And they are coming they are joining with you Na wanakuja waungane nawe Ugawafanya namna gani Hao watu 400 Hawaja kuja kukusaidia Sijui kama unaona vile Biblia inasema hawaja kuja kumsaidia ama inasemaje Grace hawaja kuja kumsaidia wamekuja 400 Tuseme pamoja watu kitu ya kwanza wako na nini na udhaifu na Hebu tuseme number one wako in distress Number one they are in distress Mtu akiwa in distress ni mtu wako na stress Na si stress because there are two types of stress. There are two types of stress. Kuna aina mbili ya stress. Kuna kitu inaitwa out stress na kuna distress. Out stress is a good stress ambayo inatokana na when you are working, when you have timelines. Wakati ambapo unafanya kazi uko na muda wa kufanya. That is stress that is positive ha hiyo ni stress ambayo ni muhimu na ni nzuri is what you distress lakini kuna hiyo distress distress ni stress ambayo ni kubwa mm. it is it brings even depression inakuletea hata magonjwa ya stress ama depression hallelujah amen these people who joined David here hawa watu ambao wameungana na Daudi hapa they are men in distress hawa ni watu ambao wako na hizo negative stress in depression hawa ni watu ambao wako na ugonjwa wa akili they are people who are immobile hawa ni watu ambao ni watu wa kutembea tembea i mean immobile they can move they are they are men who are who are discouraged hawa ni watu ambao hawana hawana tumaini hata kidogo oh mm. These are men oppressed. Hawa ni watu ambao wamepotewa na tumaini. These are men who are I mean if you look at them ukiangalia na kuwatazama. Mm. Meaning a haggard person is a dry person. Ya kwamba hata ukimuangalia ni haggard anakaa tu amechanganyikiwa na maisha. They are what? Ameparara correct. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These are the people. Hawa ndio watu. One you are in a wilderness. Ukiwa kwenye jangwa. And when you are in the wilderness. Na ukiwa kwenye jangwa. You are looking for encouragement. Unaangalia mtu wa kukutia nguvu. Ama mm. in the wilderness. Kwenye when jangwa. You are passing through the wilderness. Ukipitia jangwa hata katika maisha. You look for somebody who can encourage you. Unatazamia mtu wa kukutia nguvu. I don't know. If there is one of us who have passed through the wilderness I don't know how many have passed through the wilderness a wilderness of life I don't know whether you have ever passed through the wilderness of life because when you pass through the wilderness of life you look for people who can encourage you That's why you see a lot of people are going to the churches na unakuta watu wengi wanaenda makanisani the problem is some of us we are taking advantage of them na unakuta wengine wetu tunawachukulia because these people are passing 
through the wilderness maana hawa watu wanatupitia jangwa they are looking for somebody wanatafuta mtu who can tell them you can make it wanataka waambie wasikie unaweza they are looking for somebody wanatazamia mtu who can give them hope ambaye anaweza kuwapa tumaini they are looking for somebody wanatazamia mtu who can hold them ambaye anaweza kuwa tell them my brother nawaambie ndugu yangu you will make it wewe utaweza they are looking for somebody wanatafuta mtu who will tell my sister nawaambie dada yangu you will make it hakika utaweza in the wilderness katika jango you are looking for a shoulder wewe unahitaji for a shoulder to lean on na ili ukalalie na kulia haleluya haleluya you are looking for water unatafuta maji you are thirsty wewe una kiu you are looking for water unatafuta maji in the wilderness katika jangwa and david na daudi is in the wilderness ako kwenye jangwa and instead of men na kwa badala ya watu who are powerful joining him ambao wenye nguvu waungane naye this are men discouraged hawa ndio watu ambao hawana tumaini hopeless ambao hawana tumaini they join david wanakuja kwa daudi in the wilderness kwenye jangwa Mm. And the Bible is very deliberate. Na maandiko yanakusudia kabisa. Very deliberate. Yanakusudia. So he became captain over them. And there were about 400 men with him. Akaweza kuwa kiongozi wao na walikuwa ni watu 400 pamoja nae wakaweza kuja they were running away walikuwa wanapotea from their fellow men kutoka kwa watu ambao ni wenzao because they were in debt kwa sababu walikuwa na madeni mengi i don't know how he had the aspect of debt sijui ilikuwa ni jinsi gani maono ya, ya madeni oh yes hmm. they came with debt wakaja na madeni bwana sifu hmm walikuja na madeni tuseme hivyo walikuja na madeni walikuja na madeni utawafanyaje mama faith utawafanyaje utawabiaje <laughs> wamekuja wako na madeni watu uko na madeni na wako na depression utawafanyaje bwana sifiwe mm. <laughs> ni daudi sasa wamekuja na ni wa mia ine, wacha hiyo si mmoja si wawili si watatu mia ine. wote na wote hakuna wa kukusaidia and but, but david is a different man na hivyo basi daudi bado ni tofauti he became the captain akaweza kuwa kiongozi wao because david is not like you maana daudi si kama wewe ama mimi and i want you to be like that na nahitaji ukaweze kuwa vile david is not like you daudi si kama wewe he has some understanding about his god alielewa ama alijua kuhusu mungu wake when i see david here ani kimwona daudi hapa This is David. Huyu ni Daudi. Not the, the, the David I am talking about. Si ule Daudi wa David here. Tunasema David hapa. When I see David, nikimwona David hapa. I see a captain. Ninaona kiongozi. I see a commander. Ninaona jemedari. I don't see him the way he is. Simuone jinsi alivyo. Oh the way he came in this church. Asimuone jinsi alivyo hapa. I see a man. Ninaona mwanaume. A family man. A mwanaume wa jamii. I see a man who has a family. Ninaona mwanaume kona familia haleluya haleluya that's a different hiyo ndiyo tofauti when i see you i don't see money si, nikikuangalia sioni pesa no hapana i don't see money sioni pesa i see a person ninaona mtu i don't see your problems sioni shida zako because your problems mashida zako i can solve them asiwezi kuzisolve i have one lakini ninaye moja i have one ninaye moja i have one ninaye moja who is calling jehovah rehoboam ambaye namuita jehovah rehoboam we are calling him jehovah 
El Shaddai. Nina Muita Jehovah El Shaddai. We am calling him Jehovah Lava. Nina Muita Jehovah Lava. If you are sick and you are coming here, Ukiwa Mgonjo Unajahapa. It is not me. Sio mimi but I have a Jehovah Rafa naye Jehovah mpagaji heal you naye anaweza kupokea from your sickness magonjo hallelujah hallelujah when david looked unto these people daudi alipowatazama hao he remembered akakumbuka that jehovah kwa mahodi we serve pamoja na jehovah na yobati you get me unanipata You got me. Unanipata. Unanielewa? Mhm. Aliwaona na akajua ako na Mungu ambaye anaweza mabadilisha. Mhm. That's how ministry. Na hivyo ndivyo huduma ilivyo. He became their captain. Akafanyika kiongozi wao. He never complained. Hakuweza kulalamika. When we come to chapter 23 Nayo mlango wa 23. Now David is with mighty men. Haya sasa basi tunamuona Daudi akiwa na watu wenye nguvu. And because of time. Na kwa ajili ya muda. I will not talk about them. Siku sitaongea kuhusu. Uh, on Sunday God willing. Lakini siku ya Jumapili Mungu akipenda. I will talk about them. Nitasema kuhusu hao watu. So that uh, we can move together. Na ili tuendelee kwa pamoja. Because this moment I know uh, our time is far gone. Na ninaelewa kwamba muda wetu umesonga sana. What I'm saying this. Ah ninasema hivi. God is able to change situations. Aya kwamba and is able to change even men. Mungu anaweza wakubadilisha mambo na watu. And this year we must have that faith. Na mwaka huu lazima tuwe na imani ya aina hii. Yeah, that God will change situation in your life. Ya kwamba Mungu atabadilisha hali maishani. Things you have not been able to acquire that this year God will help you. Kuna mambo ndiyo haukuyapata ila Mungu mwaka huu atakusaidia. Unaweza kuwa kwenye madeni in distress unaweza kuwa na stress you might be discouraged unaweza kuwa kwamba umepoteza tumaini you have joined together with david lakini umeungana na daudi in the cave of adram katika mabango yale ya adram ah tunaashiria na kusema from the cave of adram kutokea pale mbango la adram we have captains Tokea. we will have commanders kutakuwa na majemedari we will have mighty men kutakuwa na watu wakuu i'll build that ah nitasema hivi that we become mighty men of david ya kwamba tufanyike watu wakubwa na I'll, wenye nguvu ask god to give me more grace naomba mungu anisaidie na neema zaidi you can become a mighty man kukufundisha jinsi ya kufanyika mtu mkuu wa mungu i'll teach you I'll teach you Nitakufundisha. and you will learn from the mighty mind of David. Na tutaweza kusoma kuhusu hao watu katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can rise up and worship the Lord. Ah simama na ukaweze kuabudu Bwana. Let's rise up and worship the Lord. Lift, lift up your hand. Ah inua mikono yako. I don't know whether you came here in debt. Sijui kama uko hapa na ulikuja kwa madeni. You came in distress. Ulikuja ukiwa na stress. You came discouraged. Ulikuja pia umepotewa na nguvu. I want to know that. Anataka ukaweze ku Because you came here. Maana ulikuja hapa. And you joined with God. Na ukaweza kuungana na Mungu. I was, I was reading and reminding myself. Na alikuwa anasoma na kujikumbusha. The name of the Lord. Jina la Mungu. I learned of Jehovah Lava the Lord our healer. Akasema kuhusu Jehovah Lava Jehovah mponyaji. I learned about Jehovah Adonai Jehovah our master. Jehovah Adonai Jehovah mkuu. I also learned about Jehovah El Shaddai. Akasema Jehovah El Shaddai. This all sufficient and almighty God. Kwamba yeye anatosheleesha Mungu mkuu. I also learned about Jehovah Elohim. Na pia akasema kuhusu Jehovah Elohim. He is our creator. Na yeye ni Mungu mwumbaji wetu. I also learned about Jehovah Jireh. Akasema kuhusu Jehovah Jireh The Lord our provider Na ni ye Mungu anayetupatia about Jehovah Yahweh Akasema kuhusu Jehovah Yahweh Our Jehovah Ni ye Jehovah Mungu Jehovah El Elyon Jehovah Elyon The most high God Jehovah mkuu I also learn about Jehovah Nisi Akasema Jehovah Nisi My banner Ye Jehovah Laha Mhm That is my shepherd. Jehovah Shama. Jehovah Shama. The Lord is here with us. Jehovah you hapa pamoja nasi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah Shama. The Lord is here with Jehovah us. Jehovah Shama Mungu pamoja nasi. Jehovah Sikidenu. Mm. The Lord our righteousness. 
I also learned about Jehovah Mekodesh, Mekodesh Kem, the Lord who sanctifies. I also learned about Eloaram, the everlasting God, and also Jehovah Shalom, who is our peace. Jehovah Sabawadi, the Lord, our hosts, and Jehovah Samba, the Lord, our warrior, and Jehovah Elohe Abodehem, Abodehekem, the Lord, the God of our fathers. Mm. Those I was doing my own research and trying to understand this God. And I learned. We have God in our situation. There is a name of God in our situation. And I wish you can also make some times to study about God and his names. I, I wish, I, I think David had that. Because when things come on your way and you have a name for God then you can claim the name. Jehovah Jireh is our, the Lord our provider. When you are in a situation where you need provision you can lift up your hand and say Jehovah provide for me where you need victory you can lift the name of the Lord and you say Jehovah is my banner so the names of God are everywhere hallelujah lift up your hand before him even those in debts, those in distress, those who are discouraged, I declare encouragement. I declare your debts will be paid in the name of Jesus. I declare no more debts, no more discouragement, no more distress in the name of the Lord. I declare our Father and our God will provide for you. He will give you peace because he is God of peace. He is Jehovah Shammah. He is Shalom. He give you peace in the name of the Lord. He is Shammah. His presence is with us. I declare and I declare he is mighty in war. He is powerful in battle. We declare today he will fight for us in the mighty name of the Lord. And dear God I thank you for every member of this congregation and I declare encouragement I declare faith I declare power I declare dear God you will see them through in their homes wherever they are going Jehovah have your way and continue with them there are some of us who are not together with us we have Bishop we have Pastor Karanja even Father as the standard church I declare you will provide you will be with them in the name of Jesus there are some of us who are not with us even our little children who have gone for swimming. I pray with your teachers. May you bless them, oh God. May you be with them. May you be the Lord there. Father, have your way and have your way. Walk with us where we are walking. And dear God, may your presence even accompany us where we are. And Father, your name will be glorified and you become the banner in our lives. Father, even the wilderness, dear God, you build us to be mighty warriors. You build us to be mighty and powerful men in our time. We thank you for the spirit of David and we ask you, Father, give us this spirit. Give us this spirit as your servants. Give us this spirit, O oh God. I will be able even in the wilderness, even the, in the valley, even the cave. Father, this spirit will guide us. We bless you and thank you for each one of us. I don't know whether there is one of us who have a need that he feels we need to pray together. You can lift up your hand and then I commit you to before God. Lift up your hand if you have a need that you feel like you need an intervention, a serious intervention from God and come on Sunday and give us a testimony. If you are there, lift up your hand before him. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I pray for those hands that are lifted. I want to declare, dear God, there is a miracle. You are God of miracle. May you provide for them. May you give them victory. May they come with a testimony on Sunday. 
that God you intervened. Thank you. Because Father you have done it. If there is a mountain we bring it down. If there is a hindrance we bring it down. If they need a miracle may you provide that miracle. May your name be glorified. May we worship the Lord with a crap all of us. Thank you. I say thank you. Lift up your hand and say thank you as you lift your hands and clap for the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. And thank you for your God. And beside you, there is no other God. We thank you for the whole of this week. Dear God, you be with us. You take care of us. You protect us from con men. You protect us from, from men with evil eye. This week, dear God, you protect us in the highway. You protect us in the streets. You protect us in our homes. You will protect us. And dear God, no one of us will be harmed. No one of us will be harmed by the devil. I declare, even our children in this school, you will protect them. You will protect Take them. You give them wisdom and understanding. In the name of Jesus, I pray for provision. There are some of us even looking for school fees. Father, provide school fees. There are some of us even looking for food for their children. I pray, provide for them. Give them food this week. Provide ways for them. I praise you, dear God, and I lift your name, dear God, because you have fulfilled all this. There are some of us even and looking for jobs. They are looking for business expansion. I declare, expand their business. Expand them, oh God. Provide a job for them. And they are gone on Sunday. We we'll have a time to say thank you for you have provided. Thank you for you have done it. Thank you for you have been with us. Thank you for you have protected us. You have given us victory. Hallelujah. Rika Bozika. Rika Yamaza. Mako Bozia. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Savior. We lift up your name. We bless your name. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the spirit of Rehoboam. Thank you for the victory. We say thank you. And thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Oh, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We sing blessed. Oh, 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 oh,
presence and thank you for speaking to our hearts and our minds and dear God you continue speaking to us we will understand you more as you reveal yourself to us may your name be glorified we thank you we thank you as you reveal yourself to David as you reveal yourself to Daniel as you reveal to yourself to Gideon and you even said you made him bid him even build an altar and he called his Jehovah Shalom. Father, I pray, may you give to us in different ways that even we can make an altar and name it according to you. We bless you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you so much. Amen. Amen.